afternoon Ross here just thought I would post a wee video it's not the greatest of days a bit minging and wet it's going to get worse so I thought I would get out for a few miles just now uh, so after the first video on Sunday and by the way I haven't looked back I'd actually I'd clean shaven the night before and I looked back and I thought jeez I look awful with no beard so it's grown back a wee bit better that way. Might be a bit grey, but uh, I prefer it. Looks too unhealthy, clean shaven, for me anyway. Uh, so, yes, oh, also, word of warning for anyone in their 40s maybe, whatever, similar to me, 43, be prepared to want to go and pee all the time when you're out running. So, sorry if you're in your late 30s but that's what you've got coming to you <laughs> uh, so I mentioned in the first video that I'd done a lot of research over the last couple of years into uh, what makes people tick uh, for whether it's running or adventure or or just uh, extra special challenges uh, and I've I've read and listened to lots of books autobiographies from such a diverse range of people Celebrities Most of you will know who these people are Guys like Your obvious ones like Bear Grylls um, Ed Stafford Not quite so well known but still If, if, you, if you like these sorts of discovery programmes You know who that is uh, Ant Middleton He's quite popular these days And he's got his own beliefs and mindset uh, And also Particularly in the running world, a guy called David Goggins, who is just incredible, his uh, his mindset and, and the way he puts it across as well. Uh, there's also guys I've just listened to Tyson Fury. His biography is really good, and it, it, again, that also delves into uh, mental health and, and and what it took for him to overcome the, the odds. So diverse range of people, and each one of them just puts it across slightly differently just how important the a positive mindset is to the, the challenge that you've got ahead of you, whether it's uh, something for charity, whether it's like climbing Everest, or whether it's just overcoming certain aspects of your life. Uh, hugely, hugely helpful. Um, and that, for me, is something that if it wasn't for these guys, I probably wouldn't have the the impetus or the desire to, to go ahead with what I'm planning to do right now. And obviously these guys have also serialised their, their exploits and uh, put it out there for people to, to be inspired by or listen to maybe some people think it's a lot of rubbish but you know what, they put their neck on the line to put their life story across and to an extent, obviously not quite as big as these guys but I want to do something similar and just like I said, put myself out there over the next few months Look, tell lots of different stories, how I'm feeling uh, Yeah, so That's the idea And that's where the inspiration came from uh, There's also loads of others uh, Which I'll, I'll go into Personal things like my, my family, my dad Children, wife Mum, all these things um, And you know what, some of that might be interesting too So uh, I'm going to get on with the rest of the run I'm about 7 miles into a 10 mile run today So Get home before the, the snow arrives over and out.